Hello children, today we're learning about water rockets. This is a water rocket here. All rockets have a nose cone, it helps them fly through the air better, and fins which help to stabilise it. Some fins look like this on water rockets and some look like this. This is one that RW and RP made. So, We want the rocket to go really high in the air, so I'm going to try and throw it up and see how high it goes. Not that high. What happened was I pushed it up with my hands and it went up, but then it slowed down because something called gravity is pulling it down. It's dragging it back down to earth. And that's why if you jump up, you always land back down again. So. If I want the water rocket to go high in the air, I need to put some special fuel in it. Now, just like your grown-up's car, if they've got a car, runs on petrol, water rockets run on water and air. And I'll show you how it works. Let me explain. This is a balloon and they're quite stretchy. I'm going to blow it up, let's see what happens. I'm gonna push air into it using my mouth. Now at the moment, the air inside the balloon has made it bigger, but the stretchy material that the balloon's made out of, the rubber, wants to go back to its normal size. So if I let go of the end of it, can you tell your grown-up what will happen? Well, the air will rush out, it pushes out, and when the air goes that way, it makes the balloon go the other way. Let's see. That's about right. So. What we do with a water rocket, we pump air into the rocket and what we use for the rocket is a special bottle called a pet bottle and these, any fizzy drinks bottles are made out of this material, this special plastic and it's really strong. So what we do is we're going to pump air into it. I've got a little hand pump here but with the actual water rockets that we use later we've got a big pump and you pump air into it. Now this is very strong and it can't expand, it can't get bigger like the balloon. So you just get lots and lots and lots of air in it, which is desperate to get out. And it can't get out because of this pin. But when I pull this pin out on the water rocket, it will shoot off. Now, we don't just use air though. To make it go even further, we use water. So, this rocket here, this is the first rocket that we tested and it's got lots and lots of water in it, it's filled up right to the top. I'll show you. If I pour some of it out, there you go. It's almost all full, tiny little bit of air. And we pumped some more air into it. We put it on the rocket launcher and we let it go and let's see what happens. Well, that wasn't very impressive, was it? The problem is there was hardly any air and there was lots of water. You can't squash water down like you can squash air. So, and the water is quite heavy. So unfortunately, it didn't go very far because it wasn't very powerful. So what we did next, we tried putting a third of water in, water up to here, and then the rest of the bottle just had air in. Then we put the pump on and we pumped lots more air into it and that air was desperate to get out. And then we had a countdown, pulled the pin out of it and see what happens. So Mr. Horwood is pumping air into the rocket. So it's got air and water in the rocket.
much more impressive, wasn't it? You'll notice that the water in this rocket was a blue colour and that's because we put different coloured food dye in different rockets just so you could see the water coming out better, make it a bit more fun. Next we tried two of the big rockets and they're made out of two water bottles instead of one and they will go a bit further because they've got more rocket fuel, more water and more air in. So have a little look at the video and enjoy it.